I'm saying hello everyone, but I know there's no one here yet. Because YouTube has to get everybody knowledgeable about my video. And so far it's telling me that there's zero people here. I don't know how much true that is. And I'm going to have to keep explaining the same stuff over and over again. Because I got to wait for the people to get here. But while I'm waiting for them, I got a box from... Bandai Namco, otherwise known as, you know, it's Bandai Namco toys and collectibles. And somebody's here, somebody gave me a thank you, I mean a thumbs up already. Mecha's Reviews, hello, hello. I got a box from Bandai Namco that I'm going to be opening. Then I got a box from loyal subscriber G Tommy randomly and I'm gonna show off some other stuff that Bandai Namco sent me I don't know if I ever showed it but um, yeah let's let's get the show moving I don't know how many people are gonna show up thank you for the two thumbs up I see so far and thank you for the five people that are watching <laughs> at least that's what it's telling me right now it could be more than that I don't know this isn't a big hunt, so, but, uh, let's see what Bandai Namco sent me that they want me to talk about, uh, or show you guys, anyway. It looks like there are, oh, three things in here. Four thumbs up, and only Mecha's Reviews is talking to me, but, um, <coughs> Gundam Infinity. This is the first thing I pulled out, or first thing I decided to look at anyway. Well, basically, these are fully functional action figures. They're just a small scale. I've never seen one, like, incomplete, like, it's, the, the waist is popped. So, I don't know what's up with that. I guess they want you to see that it has a ball joint in the waist. But this is the GN001 Gundam Exia. I'll probably do reviews on it. And this is the XXX-G01D Gundam Death Scythe. But there we are with this. I've seen these in Target. Actually, I don't know if I've seen these particular ones in Dark Target. But, effortlessly random. Hello. Um, I'm more than likely do a video on this. On these. So you'll get to see if you really like them. Jigsaw Nora. Hello. And, um, here we go. These are some other things that are available. And they also sent me, I didn't know. Oh, what's this? I don't even know. This one... Oh, I see what it is. It transforms into an orb. But they're called Mobile Chance Haru. Let's let you read that yourself if you can. The reflections are like crazy. Mobile Change Haru. Sorry. But it looks like a fully functioning Gundam DD. The articulation probably isn't all that, but. It turns into a ball. Well, maybe I'll look at all of this in one video. But this is the first three things that I've unboxed. For them. Now, I'm not sure if I showed this on the channel, but they sent it to me. So I definitely want to make sure that I do show it. Anthony RK, hello. Larkin Blair. What's a Gundam? Get out of here, you fire. <laughs> Just the Halo player. And David Lou. New Lou, Lou Allen. Gundams are mobile suit robots piloted by regular people. and But they're gigantic and they go out and they fight. Or they use them to fight against monsters. Do they fight monsters? I think they mostly fight other... Gundam or 
other robots in mobile suits. Well, people in mobile suits, you know what I mean. Thank you, Larkin. <laughs> you can Google it, Nora. They got better videos online. Princeton Felix, hey. But I got some Stranger Things things that they sent me like this demo bat. It's like a stiff piece. They also sent me um, Gustin. That's sort of like the retro Ghostbuster thing. And I see he has a Build-A-Figure piece right there. His hat came off for some reason. I don't know. But I believe you squeeze the arm or something. And then his mouth opens up to show that he's scared. Yeah. Yeah. And they also sent me another one of these things. The Demo Doll. But I got a video on that. But. Stranger Things. Like, I think after I got this box, that's when I decided to watch the show. I watched the whole series and got hooked. But, um, let's see what G. Tony sent me from BBCS. Now, where are my comments? They went away. No problem. I have a whole Transformers Alternators playlist if you missed anything. But I don't know what this is. G. Tony randomly sent something. And he said he's randomly sending me something else. Well, thank you for anybody that has my address and they want to send me random things. They know I'm randomly not buying. And it looks like he's trying to make me get this freaking build a figure. <laughs> well, I got a random BBTS. They aren't sponsoring me, so whatever. These are definitely two things I wasn't going to buy, so he did a good job there. Marvel Legends Sabretooth. I I like the bulkier version of Sabretooth more, which I already own. But, let's see. I kind of do want the builder figure because the builder figure looks cool. So definitely thank you, G Doni. And he sent me Darwin. Darwin can adapt to anything, but then in X Men First Class, he didn't he didn't adapt to dying like right away. And that was funny. I think was he the first character to die in that movie? Because he was the black guy. <laughs> yeah. Sabretooth is quite thin right here. But apparently people like the way this look. Hello TM Reviews. This is from G Tony. Thank you, G Tony. And now you know it's weird. This is the build a figure, by the way. It's a dude. Whose upper body is a regular dude, but his bottom of his body is a tank. And his name is Bonebreaker. <laughs> I gave his gun to some random Fortnite person. Um, did they. I thought they were making a, a movie version of Victor Creed. FYE shop is trying to sell. Yeah, is that in the United States they're trying to sell that Marvel Legends for $35 and $45? And are they these regular ones or at least deluxe class? Or the, the, the deluxe size? Yeah, FYE is crazy. When um those Overwatch figures were out, I think they were selling those for like friggin' 30 bucks. And back then that was before the pandemic. So they had no 
No reason to be marking up the price. Yeah, I kind of want um, Havoc and, well, not so much Havoc, but Vulcan. And I'm going to have to make sure he knows I have Siren before that shows up at my house. <laughs> Gee, Tony, I already got Siren. I hope you didn't order that. Or I'm going to have to do a giveaway or send it back. But, um, yeah, this looks to be the pizza spidey body, which I thought they retired by now. And I don't know whose body this is. But, um, outside of that, here's something I just happened to buy today. I got. The Creatures Collide 4-pack. Because all of them are creatures. Goldbug, Ransack, Skywasp, and Predacon Scorponok. Which is basically the toy version, the toy color version of Scorponok. The, this looks like the Transmetal colorization of Waspinator. But it's also supposed to be Sky Warp. So now I have three of these Wasp guys. So now they're like Seekers, Wasp Seekers. Ransack is one of the deluxe G1 Insecticons. They changed the head. And Goldbug is Goldbug from when Bumblebee got damaged and his body got remade. When Optimus Prime was brought back to life because all the kids cried about him dying in the movie. Well... Um, one cool thing that I didn't know, I knew um, Scorponok came with another head so he can look more like the toy, but I didn't know that these two come with extra heads. So I'm like, this is a great freaking value. Like, I bought it before I found that out, but they actually give you, if, the, if each one of these robots is $23 a piece and I think in some places they're $25 they only charge $73 at Target so that's like $20 off plus you get extra accessories so, yeah but um planned on this being really quick so before I go thank you again Larkin's Lair you are super generous Larkin's Lair, he is blowing up on YouTube. Boy, let me see if anybody said something important for me to reply to. Yes, Havoc Lud does look dope, Jigsaw Nora. And, well, good thing you're rich over there, Larkin, because he says Marvel Legends are already $29 over there. Kappa Max, or Cat Max Gaming. Hello. Uh, have you seen the prices on eBay for this? Nope. I haven't opened my eBay app in I don't know how long. Yes, Jigsaw Nora. Google is your friend. I've been saying that for years. Not trying to be smart, but Google is your friend. I love Google. You hear that, YouTube? I dig the red wings. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. I love your screen name, but hate it at the same time. Just a dad who loves toys more than his kids do. Larkin's Lear found Metroplex, and I'm jealous. Hmm. Well, Larkin's Lear ain't rich. Right. Right. Check his channel out. You probably already seen it. Or oh, follow him on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description. Unboxing art. You get here as soon as I get tired of talking. Because, um, yeah, I want to open some stuff. Actually, let me see if I can turn this camera around. It looks a wreck. But, um, so you can see what I've been trying to work on. <laughs> the other day I filmed 
I put all of these Fortnite figures, the Hasbro Victory Royale series figures, up here. And um, I was showing off my whole collection, like, just doing a recap of everything I reviewed. Now, these bags are here because I didn't have nowhere else to put them. I, I have all of their accessories in the bag. And so I can keep them organized. But um, I moved some stuff around and I laid some stuff down after I finished talking about it. But pretty soon, if you want to know anything about this first three waves of figures, I'll have the full video up. I already started editing the footage that I, that I already filmed. But I need to just talk about the Hasbro Pulse exclusive figures and Wave 3 figures. And then I'll be done. But, uh, yeah. Hello, MCR. I think I'm going to end here. 16 minutes is good enough. I appreciate everybody that came out. I appreciate the thumbs up. I almost have as many thumbs up as, as I do as people watching. I appreciate that. Thank you again, Larkin's Lair, for your super chat. Until next time, how do I stop this? <laughs> T-Man 978, out of here.